Rabbi Hayes, Rabbi Chaim, friends, students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you have done me a great honor by inviting me to join you for the lighting of the uh, Chanukia this evening. Um, it's a joyous event and it's wonderful to be here and to see so many of you taking part. Let me say how much I admire the work of Chabad on the campus. It's clearly the most vibrant, one of the most active student organizations. It enriches not only those members of Chabad who take part in the activities, but it enriches as well the lives of all the students on the campus. To see your faith, your culture, your traditions honored the way we see it happen every week is to teach us all about the value of such things and cause us all to reflect upon what's really important in life. So I thank you very much for that. My tradition is Irish Catholic. My mother was born in Dublin, Ireland and came to Canada after the war. She met my father overseas when he was a member of the Canadian Army in the Second World War. They came here to Ottawa, that's where my father was brought up, and I was born and raised here, as was mentioned. In fact, I went to high school at what was then the University of Ottawa High School. In those days, the university had a preparatory high school. And the high school was in this very building. And this was the Catholic chapel. Until the university was made a public university by provincial statute, it was a Roman Catholic university with a charter that was granted by the Vatican. And three times a week I came to this splendid hall to celebrate Catholic Mass with other students under the direction of the priests who ran the high school. How fitting it is that tonight it's being used as a celebration of Hanukkah by Chabad. How fitting it is that on this campus, which has now abandoned a formal allegiance to a single religion and has opened its doors and its eyes to the world, this former Catholic chapel in which I went to confession, took communion, worshiped God in my own Catholic way, is now a place where members of the Jewish community come and celebrate the happy event of Hanukkah. I think it's a very encouraging sign about how far not only the university has come, but how far we've all come in opening our hearts, opening our rooms, opening our minds to the richness and diversity of human experience and admiring the celebration of the traditions of others. Tonight, we light the Hanukkah to open the season of Hanukkah. And it's very interesting that Hanukkah is associated with light. Light has been such an important part of the history of the human spirit. We think of light as something that's warming. We think of light as something that's hopeful. We associate light with the positive. And that's as true on the campus of a university as anywhere else. We look at education as enlightening. We undertake research and discovery so as we can illuminate matters which we have not theretofore understood. We speak of casting light on the subject so that we can see it and understand it better. Enlightenment, illumination, the warmth and the hope of light. Rabbi Hayes and I were remarking today how ironic it is that on this very day, when we light the Chanukya, here in Ottawa, the Olympic flame passed through town, caused such excitement. Once again, human activity, hopefulness associated with light. At this time of the year, when the days are 
at their shortest. When the nights are so long, we celebrate the Festival of Lights. It's an opportunity not only to carry on a wonderful tradition which celebrates the miracle of the eight days of oil on the rededication of the temple. It's also an opportunity to rekindle our own flames of kinship, friendship, and community. An occasion to celebrate traditions that bind us together and create light for everyone around us. Regardless of our religion, regardless of our background, there is surely a universal message in the Festival of Light. It's a message that's heard clearly on this canvas. A message of peace and goodwill toward one another. You know, the concept of peace has taken on new significance in my life. Since I became involved with the United Nations as Canada's ambassador, since I came face to face with conflict, in Sri Lanka, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in Uganda, in Burundi, so many places around the world where people's lives are at risk, where awful atrocities are carried out, where people are hunted down and murdered because of their ethnicity, or because of their political position or beliefs. Peace is an elusive concept as well as a worthy goal. So many people have written so insightfully about peace. I want to quote from something written by someone who I regard as one of the most worthy and remarkable people I've ever met. His name is Rabbi Ruven Bolka, and he is a rabbi here in Ottawa, one of the leaders of the Ottawa community. Rabbi Bokeh wrote the following, and I quote, Peace is often referred to in the Hebrew as Shalom, but technically Shalom does not mean peace. Shalom more accurately translates as completeness. Shalom is such a vital concept that it is considered one of the names of God. In truth, there are different types of peace. There is a low level of peace, as in the absence of war or conflict, but the higher level of peace is when people live in harmony with one another, when they are complete with one another. In the striving for a world wherein peace prevails, it is the higher level of peace for which we yearn. As desirable as this level of peace is, it is not that easily attained. True peace, says Rabbi Bulka, true peace of the higher variety comes when we move far beyond tolerance to full, complete, hearty, and uncompromising acceptance of others being in harmony with them. This is peace at its musical best. So says Rabbi Bolkin. And surely that is the truth. Surely true peace comes when we celebrate the differences in this multicultural and diverse community and society while recognizing what binds us all together, a common humanity, a common aspiration. That's true peace. We're very fortunate in this blessed land to enjoy that peace. I'm very fortunate to be here this evening to celebrate this occasion with you. I'm grateful to you for inviting me. I wish you a happy Hanukkah. And to all of those who are writing exams this week, I hope immediately following the ceremony you'll go home and go back to the books. <laughs> and I wish you every success in your exams. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and happiness and fulfillment and peace in 2010. Thank you.